This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Jacob McLean here in the FYI studio. First time? Yes, my first time. First time. You've got some big goals going on here. You're going to be going to University of Toronto, but let's talk a little bit about your history with uh, Smith Falls. You're with track and field. Yeah. You've won a lot of competitions. Yes, I have. All right. I let's let's talk a little <laughs> bit about what's been going on at SF. Well, SF, I spent the last four years at SFDCI. Um, I've been a part of the cross country team and track and field team over the last four years, although COVID has kind of restricted mm -hmm. a little bit of it. I finished my first half of grade nine. I, I got a little taste for um, like running at the provincial level. I was able to go to OFSA and compete in Sudbury. And I think that really sparked like a big, uh, like the, my passion for running. And um, kind of from there, I just continued training and over the years, I've been fortunate to have a good group of guys who I've worked with and trained with, and they've become my best friends. And um, just going through school, uh, I've had a lot of support, um, whether academic and athletic. We, I've been fortunate to have good coaches who have also been my teachers. And um, uh, just going into competitions, I know that I've had um, a lot of people who believed in me and wanted me to succeed and I think that contributed to a lot of my success at the school. Means a lot. It means a lot, yeah, for yeah, sure. Absolutely. Now you say you've got good coaches at school too, but you have to train afterwards too. Like of you course. must have training going on afterwards yeah, too. Yeah, so I'm a part of the club in Kingston called Physicult and that's a running club that runs all year round. So we have a great training group down there and um, yeah, we just we work very hard and there's a lot of like minded individuals who all have similar goals. And I think having that aspect of like training partners, it just really motivates you to do better each day and just pushes you to be the best version of yourself. And I think uh, um, that has really helped me a lot. So. And that's out of Kingston? That's out of Kingston, yes. But you, you've got a local core down here. Yes, too, we right? have a local yeah. core down here. Um, my friend Parker Levac, who is a very successful runner. He's been here before. He's been here before, yes. Um, very fortunate to have him. We work together. We go back and forth, taking turns leading reps um, in workouts or just like going on easy runs together. It's nice to have someone to talk to. It helps you get out the door every day and just put in the work makes Absolutely. it a lot easier. Absolutely. Now you've brought home quite a few medals too. I wrote down a few. You won MVP of the track and field team and won the cross country leadership award. Yes. Was that a graduation? That or was, was that? last track season. Last yeah. track season? Yes. Okay. And uh, OFSA finalist with the Smith Falls Red Hawks. You've yes. Got, yeah, that's, yeah, and you were doing that too. And this summer you're busy as well. Yeah, so this summer um, I've qualified to compete at Nationals in Langley. So I'll be heading there at the end of July and I'm really looking forward to that. Just, just going out and seeing what I can do. Just Langley, BC. Langley, BC, yes. Wow, wow, and who's all going with you or is it just you? So it's, the, it's three <coughs> of us, it's me, my friend Parker, who we previously talked about, and then Angus Skinner, he's a great runner out of Kingston, who's a part of my club. And so. almost as soon as you get back, you're going to be getting ready to go to university. Yeah, as <laughs> soon as we get back, we're going to take a little downtime, <coughs> probably a week, and then, yeah, just build up for university. I have cross country in the fall, so I'll be training towards that. Okay, now how is it when you're an athlete like, such as yourself applying to university? How does that work? Because usually it's just the academic part yeah, of it, but so they know you're an athlete. It's definitely... Um, a big part of it like uh, obviously I put my academics first it's a student athlete not an athlete student so um, in the process of deciding where I wanted to go to school I obviously looked at the academic programs first and what I wanted to study um, I've always been interested in these sciences so I knew the health science or life science route was probably going to be for me and then on the other side I was looking at the running teams so I've, I've been I'm a fan of the sport. I like to consider myself a student of the sport. So I've always been keeping up with the university scene of running. So I kind of had a good idea what schools were going to be like my top choices. And I think um, just in the process, Toronto turned out to be something that had a both amazing balance of academics and athletics. So uh, when I was fortunate enough to be reached uh, by the coach and asked to come down for a visit I was like 
ecstatic and I, my visit just made me that much more um, uh, interested in attending the school just because they have everything from the facilities uh, both academic and like athletic as facilities, resources, um, they just have everything you need and everything you want. So. And you say you're a runner too, is it long distance, is it short distance? So what I run, do? I'd say mid distance to <coughs> long distance, anything from the 800 meters on the track up to next year I'll be running 8K for cross country. So uh, I have a wide range and um, just depending on what season it is, you run, like in track, I usually run shorter distances and then cross country is the longer stuff. So throughout the year, you kind of train uh, for different distances. And when you do it, like on the track, you're, you're doing the track. Yes. When you do long distance, you're, you're going through. Yeah, so cross like country is like almost a completely different sport. You're usually running on tough terrain like grass, mud, rocks, um, and there's a lot of hills. So it's definitely a whole different beast of its own. Personally, I prefer track, but I think cross country is also very important because you develop a, a type of strength that you can't really get through track. And, and like th I guess that was going to be my question too, is like if you had to do long distance uh, cross country here yeah. in Smith Falls, you know the terrain. Yeah, You're of going course. out to Langley, you don't know what it's like. No, out there. yeah, it, it varies so much and I feel like cross country is just, there's so many um, factors that come into play on the day, like the weather, the terrain, and I feel like it's really who's the toughest runner, not just physically, but also mentally, who can push themselves to the next level. And I think track is a lot more, um, it's just fast, like who can run the fastest, where a lot more tactics come into cross country. And I'm excited to see where, what I can do in both those, so. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Now, you, you were saying that you have a great support team here in, of in course, Smith Falls, yeah. too. Of course, yeah. Let's talk about some of your coaches. So, Miss McCreary, she has been a phenomenal coach. Um, she is always there like supporting us whether we want to go into a different meet than that was on the schedule to get us some more competition or just at meets making sure that we're feeling good and ready to go like commun the communication is great and i feel like that's something that's really important and can all if you don't have that it can be a little bit detrimental to your performance because you always need someone to talk to um and just making the right judgments for you because coaching is like crucial in a sport like this and then also mr spencer at our school he is he is so passionate for all sports like whether it's basketball track whatever he is um always there to support you and just like he he's just a phenomenal guy, really. That's, that's yeah. great to hear. That's great to hear. Now, you, you say when you get back from Langley, BC, you're going to take a week downtime. Yeah. Can you really, as an athlete, like, I'd be worried that if you took a week or two off from training, would so, you get behind? How, how does that happen? So, it's in, like after a long season like this, for example, tra outdoor track season runs from late April all the way to like early August. So, I think it's definitely important to give yourself a little break just to recover because the body can get pretty beat up after a long season like that. Um, however, it is also important to maintain your fitness. So on the side, I think in my down week, I'll be doing some cross training such as cycling and swimming. I think those two are really good to keep like aerobically fit, but also give your joints and your muscles a break. From all the impact. Have so. you got a favorite sport that you like to do on the downtime to keep yourself? On the downtime, definitely mm -hmm. cycling. I feel like mm -hmm. it's just a lot of fun. You can get a good group together with your friends and you can just go almost anywhere you want really. So it's just good to get out and enjoy the nature and the weather. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So you're going to U of T this fall. I am. And yeah. how many years is it? So it's a four-year program. Four-year yeah. program. Excellent. What yeah. do you hope in the long run? Where do you see yourself in four years? Uh, in four years, I see myself likely applying to graduate school, whether it would be medical school, dental school, or maybe for a master's program. We'll see. So. Excellent. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Well, good luck. Congratulations on everything you've done, and good Thank luck you in so your much. future. Thank you very much for joining us here today and Thank representing you for Smith me. Falls. My goodness, you're going to Langley, BC. You're going to University of Toronto and uh, started right here in Smith Falls. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Thank you. Uh, Jacob McLean, all the way from Smith Falls. Thanks for representing.